One of my personal favorite vaults in the entire Fallout franchise is Vault 108, affectionately known as the Gary Vault. Located in the wilderness of Fallout 3 lies a mysterious door hidden behind a large rock formation. When you first enter, you find a dead body on the ground, and even more interestingly, a vault door left completely wide open. As you step inside, you are met with a scene of horror. Blood marks cover the walls, furniture is thrown around, and the generators powering the vault are completely offline. You find dead wastelander bodies of those trying to loot the facility all over. But the true horror comes when you find the body labeled Gary42, after just being attacked by an extremely similar looking person named Gary33. As you make your way deeper into the vault, you slowly uncover that it is littered with an army of clones of this one man, Gary, all hilariously shouting at you the entire time. <laughs> Gary. And if you have the courage to go even deeper into this twisted vault, you eventually uncover that a scientist was performing experiments of cloning, and even find a sectioned off female dorm blocked by tons of cabinets, suggesting that at one point they had barricaded themselves inside, presumably to protect themselves from men who can't stop shouting their name. The true intrigue though comes if you go to the Pentagon in Fallout 3, because it's here we can open top secret terminal information on multiple vaults, including Vault 108. The vault was originally set to perform experiments in cloning over a span of 30 years, but the generators were only specced for 20. We can find multiple reports of complaints from the vault residents, but all were shot down by the vault tech higher ups. On top of this, the original overseer, which for those of you who don't know is essentially the leader of any vault, was known to have cancer and we can find discussions estimating his death after three years, followed up by a journal entry stating, these two events should combine to allow a proper catalyst that allows this project to continue as planned. So something was going on in this vault that most people living there weren't aware of, and it leads us to even more questions than it answers. What were these cloning experiments for? How did so many clones survive for so long? Were the experiments to find immortality? And why are there female dorms but no male dorms? Could it be as YouTuber Oxhorn postulates that the true experiment of the vault was putting a large group of females all with one cloned male to see what happens? Either way, it's clear that at some point the Gary clones started to become more and more aggressive, and with time eventually overtook the vault which coincidentally we see in the Pentagon logs stocked with three times the normal amount of munitions. So maybe when the generators turned off, the Garys all grabbed the guns and started screaming Gary while massacring the entire vault and its inhabitants. A horrifying idea to think about. <laughs>